Hello, today we are here to talk about the fact that in favor of inclusivity, California forgot what religion is and people practicing paganism or Wicca or working with deities sure as shit didn't. So this kind of news hits us a lot different than majority of the other population. So anyways, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing Marta to speak about literally anything that she feels like speaking about on her channel because I have a couple of other videos focused more on real life that I have ideas for, just things that irk me about the world that I feel a lot better when I'm able to talk about on my own personal channel and for not making me be just video game focused. So thank you, thank you so much for still watching my content, no matter which way I turn. So back to today's topic, California proposes curriculum with chanting name of Aztec God who accepts human sacrifice. Now this is a Fox News, yep, Fox News page, so we're not, we're not here for the whole human sac sacrifice sensationalism thing, okay? But yeah, we're not here to talk about the sensationalism of the human sacrifice bit. It doesn't matter what gods were originally used for, okay? It kind of, it kind of gives you a vibe a tiny bit towards them. So like, oh, this, this god is good for like physical strength and so on and so forth. It doesn't actually mean that you're gonna go and do some human sacrificing. That's that's just how the regular community is gonna view that kind of thing and just how Fox News is gonna sell it. So please ignore the sensationalism. We are focusing on the aspects of this from a um, person that is actively practicing a religion of sorts of sorts that's kind of a magical practitioner really the the, le the less i talk about my practice the better that's that's normally how things go but i can kind of give you a generic point of view -y from somebody that's involved in that sort of thing okay okay california department of education has proposed an ethnic studies model curriculum that includes, among other things, chanting the names of Aztec gods in an attempt to build unity among school children. Included in the draft curriculum is a list of lesson resources with a chant based in Lak Ek, which it, it describes as a love, unity, mutual respect, and Panche Be, which it describes as seeking the roots of truth. The chant starts with the declaration that you are my other me and if I do harm to you, I do harm to myself. Before chanting the name of the Aztec god Tezcalipoca, the text reads, Seeking the roots, the roots of truth, seeking the truth of the roots, elders and as youth, critical thinking through. It adds, Tezcalipoca, Tezcalipoca, smoking mirror, self-reflection, Tezcalipoca. In Aztec mythology, Tezcalipoca, the brother of Quasacuatl, Huizilopocotli and Zipetotec, all of whom appear to be involved in the proposed chant. A portion read, pulsating creation, Huizilopocotli, cause like sunlight, the light inside of us in will to actions what brings. Zipetotec, Zipetotec, transformation, liberation, education, and emancipation, Imagination, revitalization, liberation, transformation, decolonization, liberation, education, emancipation, chanting our situation in this human transformation. Another chant used the term Hunabku or One God, which Encyclopedia Britannica identified as a Mayan deity. We're here to transform the world we're spiraling, rotating, and revolving in, giving thanks daily. So, so Kamati, giving thanks daily, Slazo Kamati, healing and transforming as we're evolving in the universe, universe of Hunabku, Hunaku, Nahoi Olin Lak Ek, Panchebe, ethnic studies for all represent. The chance affirmations and energizers the curriculum read can be used as energizers 
To bring the whole class together, build unity around ethnic studies, principles, and values, and to reinvigorate the class following a lesson that may be emotionally taxing or even one student engagement may appear to be low. Well, I don't know how, how much they know about what they're doing, but I'm energizing the class is one way of putting it. Anyways, I am in contact with somebody for whom this is their pantheon. This is the pantheon that they work with, and um, they're Brujo, which is like a quite a powerful Mexican witch, and they're that by profession, okay? They're practicing by profession. It's kind of the same as I do tarot reads, and I'm, I'm pretty good at this if I must so say. Um, they also sell spells, hexes, and so on and so forth. They're people actually come to them for that and they work with the Aztec pantheon. I asked because from my point of view as the practitioner's point of view if the children do not believe the entities that they're summoning will it still work? Because depending on the religion the answer will be different. If you look at Christianity, the main point is that you believe in God and believe in Jesus Christ. Well, I've encountered religions where the doing counts more than believing. So you can completely disbelieve as long as you continue to do. And that is how you're going to achieve the higher knowledge of a practitioner through just doing and acting and engaging in it. Well, in this case, apparently, Aztec gods are vain enough in order to do actually see this as a form of worship. They will be pleased, um, California, if you're gonna make it so that the whole country's curriculum changes to this. Just California, not the whole of America. I don't know how all your people. This whole state. There we go. That's, that's the word state. Well, states of curriculum changes to this, and you're making that proclamation daily. You're gonna be empowering the Aztec pantheon, and my friend witch will be so thankful for that, because the, the more powerful the pantheon, the more things they can do. Effectively, you're... Did you have, like, witches inside? <laughs> inside your commission, uh, committee that just kind of sold empowering a pantheon to you as an anti-racist gesture? I have to wonder, okay, because this is this is actually gonna have consequences. Now, from the perspective of what can happen to those invoking said deities, not much unless it clashes. Now, when I say not much, Aztec Pantheon is quite the strong energy, I want to say. Um, I am a Luciferian, and Lucifer's energy is actually really calming. Interestingly enough, this would be seen as satanic, and obviously America would never go for it, but if you had the whole class chanting proclamations to Lucifer instead, they might just be very, very zen people. Chanting proclamations to the Aztec pantheon is kind of the opposite of that. It's kind of like giving yourself bipolar, but on drugs. It, it, it's bipolar, but worse. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna flip flop between a lot of emotions. It's gonna it's just gonna be all over the place. Com couple that with puberty. That's such a wonderful disaster waiting to happen. So, yes, energizing is indeed what this will do to you. It will, it will, it will energize you, and it will charge you, and it will kind of extremify you. And if it is a person, if you're not prepared to dealing with that kind of energy, and school children that are unknowingly worshipping will not be prepared with dealing with that kind of energy. It can proper set you off to go kind of bonkers, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we haven't even addressed the problem of what of these school children have a religion. 
Okay, for some reason, a lot of people see a religion as kind of the thing that you mark in the paper and not the kind of thing where you have a personal relationship with God. Um, you should see it as having a personal relationship with God, because that is that is what you're doing. You're, you're talking with a being that, at least to you, should be real in some sort of way. And if you're going to a school and you're worshipping a whole different being by giving them daily proclamations, no less. <laughs> One of these is gonna get mad. And because the Aztec pantheon is kind of vain, I'm gonna... Uh, it's pure Christian. You might, you might just, you might just upset your God. Just, just saying. Um, if you're actually believing in your God, but giving proclamations to the Aztec deity, you might just go ahead and upset your God. Um, mm -hmm. this is on the level of going to school and saying we are gonna say a prayer to the Christian God to energize us and you would be proclaiming your belief you would be proclaim you would be giving an active proclamation this would be the same as going to school and for energizer you just get on your knees and pray to Allah this is this is that kind of level this is active worship <laughs> This is active worship, and if this is not the religion that you already carry, and you don't know what you're doing, you're not only empowering said new religion, you're clashing with them, um, you're clashing with your own religion, so... You know, from my point of view, <laughs> that has nothing to do with major religion of America, Christianity, and, um... Who has friends working with the Aztec Pantheon? Go ahead. Go ahead, but I would assume that you would see consequences to this on at least some level. The kind of consequences that you could expect, at the very least, expect the kids to be extra emotional, energized, all over the place. And slightly unstable, which considering that they're already like going through puberty <laughs> and on hormones, it's like just take a teenager and double them over. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a bad idea. And just so you know. They did include a video of this being practiced, so go ahead. Okay, that's a, that's a recording. It's not a live thing. Um, I was just doing some tracking. You can feel the energy to a point where it's slightly leaking. Just like a tiny slightly leaking. Not as bad as when I've seen a possessed person in chat, which um, kind of got etched into the history of a specific Discord server, which was Whoa, you kind of, you scroll up and the energy just goes all over the place, but uh, it's slightly leaking, and if it's slightly leaking video, if it's slightly leaking energy through video sense, <laughs> yeah, you're engaging in full-on worship over there. Just, just so you know, you're engaging in full-on worship and seeing people engage in unknowing worship, unknowing, unconsensual worship, 
It's definitely a sight to behold that I didn't think I would be beholding today. And I think it hits me a lot different than people that are not engaged in all of these occult practices. I think, I think this reads a tiny bit different. If you're just an atheist, this is just outrageous. If you're, if you're a practicing occultist, you go, he, 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 they have no idea what they're doing. Oh, this will backfire. If you're a Christian, you're probably terrified. With good reasons. <laughs> because um, I'm not a Christian. Go ahead, California. Go, go ahead. The Aztec Pantheon will thank you. Um, also, check. Check you <laughs> check the people making these curriculums for um practicing <laughs> um practicing occultists because I have a feeling that there must be a few it's no way no way that you threw this together without knowing what it's gonna do. No way. If you did, whoa, that's um that's a whole different level of stupidity right there, right there. But anyways, thank you for watching. I have a lot of other videos that I want to make. So I will see you the next time. Oh, and can give me money and like, like and subscribe and buy a tarot read from me if you're interested in the description down below. But yeah, thank you for watching and I am going to see you the next time. Toodaloo.